So first I'd like to say Mayweather's going to win the fight tonight. And he's not going to win because he's the best fighter in history or something. It's because of his tactics that he uses. You know, not necessarily a hard hitter, not necessarily a knockout guy. He's just a guy who knows how to score points and win and make it look good. So anyway, going back to the topic, which is the topic of this video, which is the race of the Egyptians. It's important to understand the race of the Egyptians because you have to understand the evolution of the Illuminati. And you have to understand who works with the with the fake Jews in order to control things. Um, my main argument is that the Jews picked up a bunch of secret society ideas from Mystery Babylon when Abraham was in Babylon, from the high priest in Egypt and the Pharaoh and Moses and the Jews are in Egypt, you know, and Moses after 400 years takes them out. So. To understand the evolution of the Illuminati, you have to understand the race of the ancient Egyptians and why the Illuminati chose Egypt. Basically, a long time ago in Egypt, you had the Upper and Lower, lower Nile. You had Upper and Lower Egypt. Um, basically, if you divided Nile, you divide Egypt like that, and, you know, and you look at Sudan, etc., where um, Nubia was, and eventually at one point, you know, Nubia was considered a province of Egypt, but we'll get into that later. Well, basically, the history of Egypt goes like this. Those ancient tribes that went in there, it's like those ancient tribes of the Middle East, these ancient tribes that didn't have empires, say, like the Ubidans in the Middle East, the Sumerians, etc. And basically what ended up happening is different races would come in there, and as it got, as, as it got put together by a king and became Upper and Lower Egypt, those races kind of intermarried, and they mixed. So the Egyptians for that reason are a black African race that's mixed that's their own race because everyone tries to say oh look at these Somalians, look at these Sudanese, look at these Asians, look at these Indians, look at these white people and the similarities, yes there's similarities to every race in Egypt um, even if you're talking about the Old Kingdom okay so the bottom line is just like me, if you made a statue of me what would you see? Okay, you have, you have the big lips remain there, but do the big lips always remain for every uh, mixed mulatto person? No. Okay, so I, I'm mixed with a Nigerian and white. Imagine somebody from Northeast Africa who's light-skinned already mixing with European races and Middle Eastern races and Near Eastern races. So, the reason why I addressed Indian first in the 2013 series because they're the only people who can truly contend that their race might have been in Egypt or influenced Egypt more than other races besides the blacks because they actually had an empire, the Indus Valley Empire, the Harappan Empire during that period of time. The Greeks can't make that same claim because their statues are so much different. They only had city-states. The Libyans can't make that claim because they were only tribes. In fact, it was the Greeks who built the first city you know, the major civilization, started civilization really in, in Libya, who turned it from a, a, a place full of just tribes to a civilized place. It was really the Greeks that kicked that off. And we know the Greeks were given their civilization by the Egyptians. So the Greeks can't contend. Um, the Saxons and the Normans and all those people, you know, all those tribes, those Celtic tribes, they can't say it was them because there's blatant differences. They, they were, um, you know, it, the Romans are the ones, they, they called the Germans barbarians in them, you know. The Roman generals who would, who would try to take over that area would call themselves Germanicus or something along those lines because they would try to represent that we have civilized the barbarian areas in Germany, the pagan kind of rural areas in Germany. So, none of these people can say it was their people that gave the knowledge to Egypt or were in Egypt that did that. It was a mixed Egyptian race up until about the 15th dynasty and then the race starts mixing further. So the nose doesn't prove anything. Someone like me, I'm like, I'm half black, you know, half Nigerian black. And look at my nose. The nose doesn't prove anything. If you go by the eyeballs, you know, it's been proven that the eyeballs actually closely, more closely resemble African eyeballs than European or Middle Eastern or Asian eyeballs. 
So you can't go by that. If you go by the artwork, it's gonna, it's African. If you go by the culture and the clothes, you can tell by the style of the ra uh, races on, on Seti's tomb that the clothes are African clothes. I'll end it there.